there was too many subplots going on. There was too much character development happening. Too many, too many random times that wasn't mm -hmm. making sense. And only until the end, when it all ties together, you're like, finally, thank fucking god. Like, yeah. I tell, it's like getting in an argument with your girlfriend or your wife, and she's like just going on and on. It's like, and then she gets to the point about why she's pissed off at you because you peed all over the floor last night while you were talking. It's like, why can't you just say that? Welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And Cobra Kai season four? Four, yeah. Four! Strike first, strike hard. There is some mercy. No mercy. <laughs> no mercy, Top Gun. No mercy is what happens when you really have to poop and you go to a Walmart and you have to wipe with that really thin toilet paper. It That's burns. no mercy. It causes bleeding of the rectum. It uh, hurts. You know what? Uh, Cobra Kai season four. What can we say? What can we say? It, well, it's not as good as the first three seasons. It's not. But it's not bad. It's but not bad. Exactly. It's not bad. But that's the review. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's, We're done here. That's all we had to do. Our job <laughs> is finished. Finito. Uh, yeah, the, well, you know, look. Uh, what I would, I, I'd like to say about it, though, the main thing is they do keep in line the characters that you come to love and know uh, from William Zabaka to Ralph Macchio those characters are pr exactly the same they didn't really do much to expand their horizons or change them dramatically where people aren't going to be like having a good time with those characters like yeah. William Zabaka is still the leftover 80s teen angst kid that doesn't really understand today's world and Ralph Macchio is the bully <laughs> Like, no, I told you, be woke. He's like, yeah, awake, I got it. Yeah, yeah, you have a lot of those fun moments in there. Like, to me, he's like Winston Zeddemore of Ghostbusters. He's the everyday guy. Like, you just understand him. Like, this girl comes into his gym and she's like, I'm Junior Floyd. He's like, yeah, well, you know, hydration is important. Uh, obviously, you need to drink that. And there's also a specific moment I thought was really funny with William Zabacca when he was talking about the woke culture or just talking about it specifically. They were talking about, he said, she's like, uh, my pronouns are she and her. He goes, the only pronouns I'm interested in here is dojo and sensei. And she was like, those are now. He's like, you know, you know what? Here's one for you. Here's a now. Go ahead. <laughs> but, well, they do it. That's actually something that they do really well in the show. Is they show a guy who's a decent guy. He's a good human being. Like he's William not a bad Zabaka. guy. Yeah. You know him. You know his intentions are pure. You know he's a good guy. And he literally just doesn't understand the time. Mm -hmm. So they do a good job of showing that like not everybody who who isn't down with the sickness like isn't a horrible human being. No, they just, like they, they have do. Up. And I wish you know honestly like that's something that's lacking in, in entertainment as a whole. Like everything's got to be one way or the other way. In this show. So you've got a guy who's just, he's a fish out of water with the times, but he's a good person, so you understand where he doesn't understand these Yeah, things. I mean, he, like, you know, look, this dude grew up on Rambo movies, Rocky, Top Gun, Days of Thunder, things like that. But specifically, yeah, the Top Gun jokes in this are great. And also, uh, uh, William Zabeka does make, uh, Miguel gets, uh, introduced to not just the rock music of the 80s, but also the softer side, the Phil Collins, the Chicago. And when he explains this to, to uh, Johnny, and he's like, oh, yeah, you know, look, Daniel, he introduced me, Mr. LaRusso La introduced me to Chicago, Peter Cetera. He goes, Peter Cetera is the opposite of badass. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was so cool to see. You know, there's just, there just something. William Zabacca really does embody, like, you, I think you said it right, the fish out of the water. And you're able to latch onto the, like, I don't get this world either. One of my favorite parts to is there's one, and I swear to God, that day you and I did a video or a live stream, and we were doing the playing, playing with, with the boys. boys. Chasing sunset. <laughs> we, were, we were doing that joke, and then I watched that episode that night. And there's an episode where he gets really drunk, and like <laughs> yeah, Miguel finds him. Yeah, Miguel's carrying him up. And he's trying to put him in bed, and like uh, William's back is drunk, and he's like. Playing, playing with the boys, <laughs> and it's just like that's exactly what you love. That's that'd be like me. That'd show. be like Mike and I like being drunk because we're from the '90s and someone carrying us away as we're drunk. And we'd be like, "You're just ah a little crush." Ah. <laughs> yeah, like absolutely. Yeah, but dude, you know, overall, like, well, you know, look, it is definitely a fun uh, season, but uh, you know, and what, I don't want to like pee all over it or anything like that. It's no. not season one, two, and three were so special and so different and so unique. And specifically, I think season two, when they introduced a lot more uh, flashbacks with Mr. Miyagi and they had that real deep emotional anchor, I feel like some of that was missing in this season. And I know they can't always flash back to Mr. Miyagi and those lessons that he taught and, and you know, have that moment every time. But still, I feel like there was just, there was something... There was something Walmart-ish, great value brand about season four. Specifically, yeah, it, it, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, there's a prom scene. And, like, there's yeah. a prom scene where a fight breaks out. And it's, like, the 17th 
goddamn time we've had the same fight. Yeah. And it happens at prom, and like, there's like two tag teams that like team up and they're like hooking arms and fighting and it's like it felt like that scene in Once Bitten where they're on the dance floor oh, yeah. and like fighting. Yeah. And it was it was it was it was not great. It was like West Side Story. I'm like, yeah, what the hell it, happened? it felt fake. It didn't feel like and, and like you miss like for the, the first like six or seven episodes you miss that 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 uh, you miss uh -huh. mashed potatoes. You miss that uh, emotional anchor. I also feel like they they took some of the main characters that we've come to know. And while I know they've gone through their own journey and they've had their own like story unfold as time has gone on through the Karate, or through the uh, Cobra Kai series, I feel like some of them were against character. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't name the, one of the particulars, but they are—they're acting like they're a fucking like sensei now, like they're fucking Shidoki. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're not—you're not, you're you're not, not a blood belt. <laughs> he goes, he say his master is Senzo Tanaka. He doesn't look like a Tanaka. <laughs> you know, because, I mean, literally, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, all right, man, you, you know, you're not all that great with, a, uh, you know, a bag of potato chips. Like, this dude is acting like he really knows shit. And I'm like, yeah. you're still getting your fucking head cleared. <laughs> like, you don't know a goddamn thing, but yeah. yeah. They, 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 they just, they retread a lot of the same. It feels like they know where they want to go, and then they get lost in between, and then we end up doing a lot of the same storylines we did before. Yeah. And you're kind of like, oh, we've, we've seen this, we've done this a little bit. And like like we said, some of the West Side Story moments that yeah, happened so there really a little bit. Obvious a but little, at know. the end of the day, when it finally comes clear, that last episode, you're like, oh, fuck, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, yeah, and I, uh, the goal, you, know, I, you know what I think happened? is There was too many subplots going on. There was too much character development happening, too many... Too many random times that wasn't making sense, and only until the end when it all ties together, you're like, finally, thank fucking God. Like, yeah. I tell, it's like getting in an argument with your girlfriend or your wife, and she's like, just going on and on. It's like, and then she gets to the point about why she's pissed off at you because you peed all over the floor last night while you were drunk. It's like, why didn't you just say that? You had to tell me about everything else I've done wrong. <laughs> like, but yeah, it's it's kind of like one of those. Uh, you, there is also uh, we can't name the character because we don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but. I also feel like that went against character. Based on what I'd seen him before, mm -hmm. uh, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I'm like, yeah, he comes off a kind of a big pussy. And it just doesn't fit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But yeah, but by the end, the end is 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 the uh, the lightsaber, the game changer. The last Let me episode. Some of you. Last episode is absolutely the best episode yeah. of the show. And there's little moments there. It's not. And again, let me let me say this. It's not bad at all. Mm. And it's still better than most of the shit that you're gonna watch on TV. The season's oh, still, still great. Good. Like yeah. the season's still great. It's just it happens to be the lesser. I won't even say the worst. I'll just say it happens to be the lesser season yeah. of the previous three. You seasons. You still love all your children. It's just the one that you don't like the most. <laughs> it's like it, but it, it 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 doesn't quite live up. To, it doesn't have that same fucking lightning strike yeah. the other three seasons the, have but it's not bad and at first I was worried for a second I was like okay oh my gosh have they ran it out like if they ran mm. they ran the well dry maybe maybe this is the end but I will say by the this time this is it, the end <laughs> this is not the end uh, but that last episode you go oh I know what we're fucking doing and I like it and yeah. I moved to strike uh, yeah and you know what uh, the showrunners have already come out I, I read an interview recently that they said they're so far ahead of everybody else that they're definitely uh, like doing a season 5 so season 5 is 100% happening mm -hmm. and I think that what the showrunners were even saying was they might be working on a season 6 or a 7 because there really is a lot more lore to explore with uh, with the Karate Kid franchise, and they haven't even touched it yet. I mean, they touched some of it. I mean, they tickled its butt with a feather. As far as season four goes, it's got its problems. It's not as good as the first three, but it definitely is fun. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm 100%, if you like the first three seasons, you're going to like this, this season yeah. as well. Low point is definitely when a certain uh, cameo appearance happens. It's not from Karate Kid, but just a famous person cameo. Oh, God, yeah. And and they do this whole, um, what you know in um, NCAA March Madness when they're like, uh, <laughs> what's it, the Sunshine Song or whatever? Yeah, uh, I know what you're talking uh, about. One moment in the, fuck, oh, I can't remember what it is. Oh, God. One shining moment. Yeah, 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 I was watching, I was like, well, no way did this bitch come I from? Know, <laughs> it, it, like, I'll say this, like, where they were trying to go for a Rocky IV montage, they did the Sunday Night Football opening, and you're like, this is some corny shit. I don't like it at all. Yeah. It's but, not like when Janet Jackson popped her tit out. You're like, was that, what was the point of that? <laughs> but, again, high point, last episode. Yeah. Oh, man, just stick with it, and you'll fall right back in love with it, I promise you. And I'll say this, there's one character that we all knew about that's in this. From part, that, from, you could say this, Karate Kid Part 3. Yeah, yeah, that again... At the beginning, you're going, oh, I don't know if this works. But by the end of it, you're like, oh, I see it in you now, sir. Yeah. I see it in your business face. Yeah. Like, I know what's happening now, and now I'm inside of the car, and I'm ready to go on a ride with you. The Blockbuster are in some fucking 80s That's films it. together. I want to have a ready. good time. Can we yeah. put on BGs? <laughs> but yeah, well, yeah the, the character from uh, Karate Kid Part 3, 
I, that's the one I was talking about where they kind of they kind of pussyfy in a little bit. And I'm like, yeah. that's not the guy I remember. This is not my dad. <laughs> but then by the time he picks his balls up from the, the sack that he left him somewhere, then you're like, ah. You're like a uh, Jim Carrey cable guy when he gets his, like, you son of a bitch. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I well, knew it was when, you. When this particular character finally reveals his inner dragon, I'm like, where was that the whole fucking time? <laughs> because I was like, you should have been controlling shit and you weren't doing a goddamn thing. Yeah. But yeah, man, overall, uh, and I feel like we've kind of taken a dump on it. I don't want people to feel like it's I'm negative. It's not a negative review. We're just giving you, hey, uh, just when you when you go and watch the, the season, go in with not like these big giant expectations. Yeah. That's all. It doesn't bring the fire and the lightning the other three did, but it's still a goddamn good time. Yeah. It's a good ride in the park. So definitely, absolutely watch it. And I will say, if you were four or five episodes in and you start to go, I think I'm off this train, yeah. stick with it because it will bring you back to the promised land by the end. For sure. I promise you that. Sure. So definitely, we both recommend it. For sure. Cobra Kai! Get it in there. Quiet! God damn it. <laughs>